Good evening, I'm Delexis Few and I'm broadcasting live on Beauty Vista Road of Columbus, Georgia. I'm here interviewing citizens on their opinion of the Mike Brown situation. What's your name? Dominique. Do you think the shooting of Mike Brown is legal? I don't think it was legal. I think they should have never shot him. They shot him for no reason. All he did was just like put his hands up so they should have never shot nobody. It was messed up. So nah, it wasn't legal. Do you think protesters, uh, do you think the protests will continue? Mm, maybe, maybe not. Depends on how they feeling down there. I'll keep going until they put everybody in jail. So until they put the cops in jail, I'll keep going. Um, may I have your name? Dominique. Dominique. Thanks, Dominique. Dominique. May I have your name? Jessica Lundberg. How do you feel about the Mike Brown situation? I feel like the cop that's being raised money over, that's just messed up. I think it's sad. For the boy that died, I think it's really sad. And how the KKK are coming out here, like, that's just messed up. Late. Oh, I'm so sorry. Lately, there's been peace with the protester. But do you think peace will continue even if Officer Wilson is not arrested? No. I think it's going to be a riot eventually. Thank you so much for your time. Hi, what is your name? My name is David Nehemiah Cooper. Have you heard about the incident in Ferguson, Missouri? Yes, ma'am. I've heard about it. Lately, pro protests have been calm. Do you think the violence will return if Officer Wilson is not arrested? Yeah, yes, I think so because it's a, an emotionally charged situation. And the people want an answer. Like I said, if they don't find a solution, it's going to roll back to the same thing that happened in the 60s when Martin Luther King got killed and they rioted all over the United States. All the people want is a solution to the killing of the young black men. So do you think there will be a solution? It, politics. Politics is what you're fighting. The powers that be versus the people who need to be empowered. You know, if you have no control of your situation, but you can be levied on and levied on, beat up and killed, that's just like the lynchings that took place. You know, we have got to get better. We've, had, we've got to make that step. We've got to be able to get along. Just because you have a black president doesn't make it equal. Thank you so much for your time and answers. May I have your name? Boss B. <laughs> Boss B, how do you feel about the Mike Brown situation? Well, the way I feel about it is, you know, we can handle a lot of things a different way how people handle things, you know what I'm saying? So, the way I feel about it is messed up. But the way I feel about it, this ain't the first incident this has happened. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things that went on before this has happened. So, it's time we step up and start doing stuff about it, you know what I'm saying? That I really feel about it, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really got too much to talk about because action speaks louder than words to me, you know what I'm saying? How long do you think the protests of Ferguson will last? Oh. Uh, I don't think it's going to last long, because like I said, it's been things before this happened, and then one that did, so I don't think it's going to last long. Thank you so much for your time. No problem. Hi, what is your name? My name is Ronnie Duckworth. <laughs> Mr. Duckworth, how do you feel about the Mike Brown situation? I feel real bad, and it seems like it's a reoccurring thing that happened, uh, I'd say from the time um, what happened here with the Kenneth Walker thing, and even the Trayvon a uh, Martin thing in Florida, and now to me it's playing out again in Ferguson, in Missouri. I feel bad about it, and it seems like the black boys are just being targeted. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, I have your name? Mary Knight. Uh, Mary Knight, how do you feel about the Mike Brown situation? Well, I honestly feel that, you know, when the last days, you know, Jesus talks about rumors of wars, a lot of, a lot of killing, all that going to be going on. So, you know, it just signs of the time Jesus is soon to come. It's sad. I don't, I feel really hurt by the fact that God had to die like that. But I think it's pretty sad. It's, like, it's really sad, a lot going on like that. People dying. But, you know, you just got to be ready. Prepare your soul. Heaven or hell, your choice. Just got to pray. Thank you so much for your time and opinion. If you could say anything to the Brown family, what would you say? Just stay strong and pray about it and everything will get better. Thank you so much for your time. I'm Delexis Pugh and I'm broadcasting live from Buena Vista Road about the Mike Brown situation. Most citizens shared similar opinions and a lot of young citizens did not know anything about the situation. That would be all for today's news. I'm Lex and I'm signing off. Have a great day.